this job right here just seems like it is just taking us forever to cut it. I mean, it seems like we've been coming up here for <laughs> months and months, but we hadn't. We've been up here. We got up here, uh, I think about the first week of January, I believe, something like that, maybe. So we've been up here uh, almost two full months now. Uh, the job is uh, roughly a couple hundred acres right here, which we would have cut it a good bit quicker, but uh, all the amount of rain that we had just kind of slowed us down pretty bad, and lot, missed a lot of days working. It's a whole bunch of days that we missed working. You can see as I'm picking the drone up, all the water in that in that holler, that's just a flat, holler right there with you know no ditch or anything in it but you see how much water standing in it dad dad's actually on the the 635 chad wasn't there today so dad did all the skidding for us there and you can see the pools of wood is um coming up on them but we're winding this bad boy up we will let's see today's thursday while i was filming this right here so we're going to run Friday, and then we're going to run Saturday also because they're talking about rain uh, this next week, uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, possibly. So we're going to go ahead and work Saturday. And then I'm going to we'll, – we probably won't work all day. We'll probably work 1, one o'clock, 1 or 2 o'clock, something like that. Then I'll jump on my mini excavator, haul it over to the chicken house project that I started earlier this month and uh, try to get it wrapped up. I hadn't been back over there. Well, one, well, a couple of reasons I hadn't been back over there. It's been raining up the whole time. And then uh, Jill and I were gone last week to Oregon out there. So talked to Lane today and, and I'm going to go over there if I don't finish it up I, sh I should finish it tomorrow before dark or well it should be saturday before dark if i don't i'll go back sunday and kind of wrap it up and get that get that thing knocked out so that'd be some different footage from the uh chicken house there and i, I need to get it done too because it's going to rain and and then they're going to be catching chickens i think he said about two more weeks again and uh so they'll be doing that and then i'll be gone um, coming up for the Con Expo, I'll be gone middle of the week there a few days for, for that. Be going out there to it, and that's gonna be a pretty cool deal because there's um uh, several of us who are gonna be going who are going out there, and uh, so y'all will get to see some some pretty cool videos. I right now it looks like my obligation is gonna be on that Tuesday afternoon, and uh. I'll be doing some filming with Volvo and then, then the rest of the time I, I'm going to be kind of free to kind of wander around and just, you know, check out what all is there. And there is a lot there. It's like 2,500 vendors that are there for the Con Expo. So that'll be pretty cool. Just get ready. You're going to get to see the uh, new stuff for the Kubota Mini. It's going to be coming up at the end of this video here. Right now, we're just watching Derek. He's cutting right up against this church. We're we're going right through this church parking lot to to get in there, and that's that's actually the access that comes into this track. And I hate it and coming in that way like that, just having to go by that church. But that's it is what it is, and and, and we hadn't had any trouble. We we've talked we had talked to him and and all that, and you know they were aware it's going to be cut and. So everything's good to go on that right there, but it, it's just kind of odd. You can see we're coming right between the cemetery and the church. Right there's a rec it looks like the recreation building or fellowship hall right there. And there's a road that goes down in there. So we like this little patch right here that's kind of on the left-hand side of the screen up against that hardwood there. The hardwood will be left. It's in those uh, drawers right there. It won't be messing with it or anything. It'll stay just like that hardwood is across that power line, that strip, and you can see it down through there. So it won't get cut either, it'll stay. I'm gonna fly back over this way. I think I'll fly back down on that, and then I'll take y'all 
back across the uh, power line and show you what's left on the other side. It's, it's a pretty good size cut right here that we've made. We've covered a lot of ground on this on this track right here. Yeah, it's where I kind of fly in on Dad right here on the, while he's on the 635. So Dad's just coming back over here into this side by the power line. He's kind of alternating, grabbing drags. This spot right here was pretty rough as far as the timber went. Wasn't too sporty till you got on back down here toward this toward this drain right here. It kind of picked up a little bit there, but the trees were just they were just so so so. Derek, Dad, he's kind of taking it easy on Kevin so he don't bury Kevin up. Cause if you you run in there with a bunch of uh, junk trees like that and pile them in there on Kevin, it gets pretty frustrating for him to try to try to work through that stuff. So. Dad to get a drag over here and then he'll go over there where Derek's at and get a drag over there and just go right to Kevin because Kevin, from where that skitter is, right there where Kevin is, is probably not even 100 yards, I, I wouldn't imagine, because Kevin should be fixing to come in the frame right here. He's just right there. Um, so I think, let's see. Yeah, I'm about to key the drone up. Yeah, we're going to go over here and we're going to fly, kind of see what what's left on the job here. So all the green tops go. What's kind of on the other side of the church right there, it does not get cut. So you just got this little patch right here toward the recreation building and kind of to the left, little spot right there. I just, you just come in the frame and in that block of, Green tops right there. That's going to be cut. That's what we'll be. We'll probably be working on that Saturday, I would imagine, that right there. But it's pretty cool to be able to see this during the wintertime while the trees or the, all the oaks don't have any leaves on them or anything. So you can you see this. That's a massive stand of uh, oaks down through there, all, all that. And it's just it's trees as far as you can see. You stick the drone up in there, boy. You can you can see for miles and miles on these clear days, and I don't, I don't think there's no danger of ever running out of any trees to cut. <laughs> no time soon around here, that's for sure. So that this is the end of it, right there, where the green tops kind of hit the the gray tops where the hardwood is. So now I'm gonna fly on back over here where I started. I actually lost the drone right here. I couldn't, I was, I kept looking for it to come over the power line right there. Never did see it, never did see it. It took me a little while. I actually flew, I missed it. So y'all just enjoy the rest of this video here. So apparently this week is a week for new stuff right here. This is a brand new Rotobeck RPA uh, grapple for my uh, Kubota Mini right here. Came in Monday. I'm just now bringing it back, bringing it home. It uh, was up there at the shop. Yeah, I'll kind of go over it. There's a. I was not aware that this thing has got a case drain for the uh, rotator motor on there. So I got my my mounts are on and all that stuff like that. So it's gonna probably gonna take me a little bit because I gotta do some line plumbing and all that, and I gotta talk to. You gotta talk to Pierre too, cause he's kind of the one behind all behind all this. But uh, so I got this for the machine, and uh, the truck line company. There's a pallet that it came on. They had actually throwed this thing off of the pallet. Don't ask me how they done it. They had it banded and all, but you can see where it kind of scratched it there, and uh, we had to just kind of try to work with it to get it off the the big truck that it was on on the the company that hauled it all the way here to us so uh let's go over here right quick and i'll show y'all something else that i got for the kubota i actually had this fabbed up and it's and it's pretty cool here too what i did i put a skid steer mount plate mount on it so now you see how it is 
see it right there. So now anything that'll go on a skid steer, I can put on. I can put on the mini right here. So I can put my front end loader bucket on it. I can put my my uh, forks on it. I've even got a uh, right over there on the other side of the dogs a hydraulic auger I put on it. And the the you know so I, I make it multi-purpose and I had to mount built to fit all of that stuff right there too so i got all that done and but we're about to take this thing off and uh and it, it works good it works real good we're going to take this thing off here real quick and go put the grapple on it let me go ahead and crank this thing up here let it be warming up let the glow plugs go off on it Just gonna have to be a little patient with me on the grapple because it's probably gonna be a couple weeks before y'all get to see it unless we get rained out this next week if we get rained out i'll probably be able to get everything plumbed up on it and get it uh worse worse working and all that but if we don't get rained out i've got the like i said in the voiceover i got the con expo coming up and uh just some other stuff too and not gonna have time to get that situated i gotta get the the chicken house project gotta get it done and i want to do it before it rains again monday like i said they're calling for it to come in monday monday through wednesday something like that talking about some more heavy rain i mean dang it man i mean we just keep getting hammered with some rain but so we'll get the of course, it's, it's so dang wet that um, can't do a whole lot anyhow as far as the excavator goes and stuff like that. So I'll I'll get it out and about. But uh, so the days we well, all be watching this on Friday. Hope all y'all have a have a good weekend this weekend. A lot of good response from the from the bridge videos and also the dam videos. If I can get the chicken house project taken care of to where Sunday I can run over there to the dam and film a video over there real quick at it and give y'all an update on it. It's still holding up. It's still hanging in there. And I'm going to point out some new stuff that I found out. And uh, it'll be, be pretty cool. But uh, so y'all have a good weekend this weekend i'll be right here and we'll be working and then i'll be working so uh <laughs> good times man good times we'll catch y'all later later times